Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. Today we have a Zoho email setup tutorial. So we're going to be setting up a free custom domain email over at zoho.com. So this is a really nice way of getting a free business email for your domain. So if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. Okay, so there's just three steps to doing this. First step, obviously just sign up for a free account at zoho.com. The only thing you'll need to do that is a phone number. And the next step is adding DNS records to your domain. So I'll take you through how to do this. It might be through GoDaddy, it might be through Bluehost or Namecheap. In my case, Cloudflare, they're all very similar. I will walk you through this, but you'll need to add DNS records to your domain. And finally, I'll show you how to add additional users. So the free account, you'll be able to add up to five users to your domain name. So five email accounts, each with five gigabytes of space. So a very generous free plan. So this method of using Zoho.com is super useful if you are using a VPS like Cloudways, Vulture, Linode, DigitalOcean. These providers don't always give you free email with their VPS account, so you might get good quality web hosting, but no email. So this is a nice way of adding a very nice email service for free to your domain. So let's get started. First thing we'll do, we'll head over to Zoho.com and we're going to go to mail here. And we are going to select business email. This allows us to use our own domain. If you use personal email, that sets up a zohomail.com address. We're going to be using business email because we want to use our own domain. So let's click this one. Now, this will take us to the pricing page. But if you actually scroll down here, you can find the free product down here, free forever plan. Let's click sign up here. And this is where we enter the domain name that we're going to be using for our email. For this example, I'm going to be using ideaspot.space, but just put in whichever domain name you're using in there and click add. Then it's just a matter of filling in your details. You do need a phone number, so make sure you put your phone number in there and then agree to the terms. So now that's all filled in, make sure that box is ticked. You don't need to tick the marketing box and then click proceed. You'll get a summary screen where you can click sign up. Then you'll get a confirmation to your mobile phone. You'll just need to enter the code that you receive on your phone and verify your phone number like that. Okay, the next step is to verify the ownership of our domain name. This will vary slightly depending on where our domain is managed. Now they actually have a list of some popular DNS managers here. So if you're, for example, with GoDaddy on your domain, you can choose that one. They'll give you some instructions on how to do this with GoDaddy. Uh, I'm gonna be using Cloudflare to do this and I can use others and this will work with basically any domain name uh, management. So we can go ahead and follow these steps. I'll take you through that right now. But all we really have to do is add this text record to our DNS. So let's copy that one. Let's go ahead and add that to our DNS. So like I said, I am using Cloudflare for my DNS. So this is the DNS management screen in Cloudflare. You go to your domain and that is under the DNS tab like that. If you were using GoDaddy, for example, it'll look something like this. You can add records like that. If you were using uh, Namecheap, for example, you've got your domain list there. You can go to click manage there and you'll find your advanced DNS. You can add records like that on Namecheap. If you're using a cPanel host, for example, you can find your DNS zone editor in cPanel if that is where your domain is managed. And then you can use the cPanel editor to manage and add records like that. SiteGround, similarly, if you've bought your domain through SiteGround, you'll find your DNS zone editor in your control panel. You can create uh, new records like that. And hosting it, again, a different host, you'll find your DNS zone editor in there if that is where your domain is managed. And the process is pretty similar. Just if you don't have an instruction on the panel on Zoho, you can just Google how to add DNS record in your host and you can probably find an article on your host that will tell you how to do that. But back to my example on Cloudflare, I am using Cloudflare. This is just a free account. Anyone can use Cloudflare to manage their DNS for free and you also get uh, free speed upgrades and you get free extra security. So I definitely recommend uh, setting up on Cloudflare. I'll put a link to my Cloudflare tutorial in the description if you're interested in doing it this way yourself. So all we are doing here is copying out that text record and creating a text record in here. So we're gonna add a record. It is gonna be the text. And we're gonna paste it in there in content. We use at for root. Go ahead and click save. There we go. So we've got the idea spot.space text record in there with the Zofo verification. All right, so after a few seconds, you can click verify by text. And congratulations, your domain has been verified. 
Now, sometimes it can take a little while for the DNS to go live and for the record to be verified. So just be patient. It might not work the first time. Um, just wait a few minutes and come back and try again because not all DNS uh, managers are as fast as Cloudflare. So here we are going to create the username for the administrator. So the administrator, that can be whatever you want. I'm just going to be alex at ideaspot.space and click create. And at this point, we can add more users. We can add up to five users to this account, but I'm just going to do the one account for this example. So let's just skip this, but you can add more if you want. And we can add groups as well. Again, I don't really need groups. so I'm going to skip this as well. Now this step, we need to add more DNS records. This time we're adding the MX, the mail exchange records to our DNS. Again, they do have instructions for common DNS managers down there. Again, I'm just going to be using the others. The others is the most versatile uh, list of instructions that you can use on pretty much any. So go ahead. I'm going to follow this instruction and set this up. But basically, it means copying this stuff into the DNS. The other thing worth noting here is that on step four, if you have existing entries, remove those entries. So I'm going to remove any existing MX records from the DNS while I do this. All right. So let's copy the first one, MX Zoho comma U. I'm in Australia, so this is obviously a regional server. Yours might be different from mine if you're in a different region. So let's just copy that one. It's going to be priority 10. So let's go ahead and go over to our DNS management. So scrolling down, we can see we've already got a couple MX records from our old host. So we can go ahead and remove those first. I'm going to go ahead and delete them. Now, this will be a little bit different depending on what DNS manager you're using, but you can remove records and add records fairly simply. Uh, so I've deleted those two MX records. I'm going to add a new MX record. There we go. Pop in the server. Again, the name is just at for root and the priority there is 10. Let's go ahead and save that one in. And then we just repeat this process for the other two MX records. So copy the second one, go ahead, and we're going to use priority 20 and then priority 50 for the last one. So I might just skip ahead and just add those in as well. So that's all done. We've got MX records, MX, MX2 and MX3, priority 10, 20 and 50, the same as what they've specified here. Once that's all done, we can click MX lookup and we'll get little ticks here. That looks like it's all working just fine. Click OK and then go ahead and click next. All right, now we're adding an SPF record to our domain. It's the same step, basically. We're just adding this text value this time. So this time we're doing a text value again. It's at the uh, root as well. So we go back to our DNS. We are adding another text. And we're using at for root. And we're putting that SPF value in there, clicking save. And just check if you have an SPF record for your old email, like I do down here, I'm going to remove that one here while I'm at it. So go ahead and delete the old SPF record that I had in here before. But this looks all good. I've got my new SPF record for Zoho in there now. So let's go back. If we want to add even more security to our domain, we can use DKIM, that is Domain Key Identified Mail. This actually uses a key signature to sign your email. So let's go ahead and set this up. This is optional, but it's worth doing while we're here. So let's go ahead and do that. Here, we just have to click this little pencil and we need to make up a selector for the domain key. And the example they use here is Zoho. So you can type Zoho in here if you like, but you can really use anything you want. I'm going to use Zoho for the example. Go ahead and click save. So now we have a key we can add to our DNS. So this one's a little more tricky to add. We have to add the host name as well. So copy that. We're going to go back to our DNS. We're going to add that text record. There we go. And the root is going to be Zoho domain key idea spot space in this example. And the content is going to be this stuff here. So copy that out. I'm going to pop that in there and save that in. So after a minute or so, we can probably click verify and make sure this key is working. So let's click that. And let's go back to the setup. Let's head back to that D key I am and see that that is all working. I'm going to go back there. And that looks like it's green. So that looks like our D K I am is enabled for the domain. All right, let's get on with our setup. Now it's possible to migrate emails over from the old email address. Now this is a new email address, so I'm not gonna have anything to migrate, so I can skip that. But if you want to migrate any emails over, you can do that here. I'm gonna click skip. And this step is just advertising the Zoho mail apps you can use on your mobile devices. We can click skip here. 
And now we are pretty much done. The users can send and receive mails using their email at ideaspot.space. So you should be all good to go. Let's go back to the workplace. From our workplace here, we can head over to mail and our mail looks like it's all set up. We can go ahead and make a test email. Let's click new mail. Let's send an email over to Gmail and test it. So I've just written up a quick test email over to Gmail. I'm gonna send that one. So in just a few seconds, the test email has gone through just fine. We can actually have a look at the headers by clicking show original and just make sure that the SPF and the DKIM are working just fine. We've got passes on both of those. So this is working really well. The other thing that's worth talking about is adding new users. Our free account gives us the ability to add five users and they each get five gigabytes. So to do that, you go to your control panel up here, just go ahead and click on control panel. The first time we get here, it's gonna to ask to verify the SPF. We can go ahead and click verify. We just need to click that little verify box there and we've got a tick, so that looks all good. And in our control panel, we can go to user details here. I've got one user set up. We can go ahead and add users, just clicking add user right there. Go ahead and fill that out. You can make new users. So there we go, our own email account from a custom domain. So you can use the website to send your email or you can use the mobile app, both very convenient, both quite good interfaces. I think the Soho email interface, I quite enjoy using it. And like I said at the start, this is really good if you are using a VPS a web host that doesn't include email for free, like uh, Cloudways is the obvious example. There's also things like Vulture, um, Linode, DigitalOcean. I'll put up a couple tutorials here, how to set up Cloudways, how to set up Vulture. These are both good ways of getting really fast VPSs for quite good value. So I'll put those videos right here. Check those out too, because definitely recommend using this method combined with a VPS to get a good fast web host with free email. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.